Hey everyone, this is Carrie with the Welty Environmental Center, and today we're going to be talking about a geological feature called Kettle Lakes. So you might have already heard of these because uh, we actually have tons of them in Wisconsin. And the reason for that is because about 35,000 to 11,000 years ago, most of Wisconsin was covered in a massive glacier called the Laurentide Ice Sheet. And Kettle Lakes are just one of the many types of geological features that are left over from that ice sheet. So first we're gonna walk through just how exactly Kettle Lakes tend to form. And then after that, we're going to see if we can make our own Kettle Lake form in a little craft that you can do right at home. So let's get started. So a Kettle Lake is a lake that has formed from leftover chunks of glacial ice that have melted and formed depressions in the ground. Let's talk about how exactly they form and what that process looks like. So first we have our glacier. So this is the Laurentide Ice Sheet and it has advanced all the way into southern Wisconsin, uh, just north of Janesville, actually, pretty close to where we are in Beloit. And then at a certain point, um, the glacier starts to retreat back to the North Pole, um, and it's melting all the way. And as it melts, uh, big chunks of ice are starting to break off of the end of the glacier as it retreats, so it's kind of leaving all of these big chunks uh, just scattered all over the place as it is creeping further and further north. So as that glacier is retreating north, it is also melting. And all of that meltwater that spills off of the glacier is picking up tons of sediment. And as it flows, it deposits that sediment, also called outwash, on top of our big chunks of glacial ice that have been left behind. So now our glacial ice has been buried by this outwash and it's now underground. And all that underground ice starts to melt. So as they start to melt, they get smaller and smaller and the ground actually starts to cave in around them and it forms these uh, huge depressions in the ground. Um, and then what happens is groundwater rushes into these depressions and fills them up and it creates a lake. And these are what we call kettle lakes. Whitewater Lake and Rice Lake are both examples of larger kettle lakes, but Many examples of smaller kettle lakes can be found in any of the areas that were covered by glaciers in Wisconsin. Looking at this map, you can see all the areas in Wisconsin that were covered by glaciers, um, and specifically by the Laurentide Ice Sheet. Any of these areas that were covered by glaciers are areas where you might find a kettle lake. Now that we know more about how kettle lakes form and where in Wisconsin we might find kettle lakes, let's get into the activity where we will actually make our own kettle lake. So you're gonna need about three things to start this craft. Sand, um, some sort of container to hold it in, and then just a chunk of ice that you can freeze in the freezer. It uh, usually takes about a few hours to do. Um, and so what these all represent is, first we've got our chunk of glacier, um, we've got our original ground cover, which is the original ground that our chunk of glacier is going to be deposited on, and then we have our outwash that is then going to run off of the big glacier and cover our little chunk of ice. So first what I'm going to do is take our chunk of glacier and just set it on the ground here. So that's broken off of the, the big Laurentide ice sheet. So then we wait a little while longer and our big glacier is melting and carrying tons of sediment with it. And all that sediment is getting deposited all over our chunk of ice. I'm just gonna smooth that out a little bit. All 
All right. So, now our piece of glacier has been buried, and now we just play the waiting game. Uh, we're gonna wait just a, probably a few hours for that big chunk of ice to melt, and we're gonna see what happens. So I'm just checking in on our little kettle lake and it's been sitting here for about 30 minutes now and we can already see a pretty nice depression has already started to form in here. So let's give it a while longer and see where it goes. Alright, so it's been about an hour since we originally buried our big chunk of glacier and as you can see our kettle lake has gotten even bigger since when we last checked in on it and I think that there's still ice in there so it should probably continue to grow uh, but let's give it another little bit here and see how it's doing. All right, so it is a full three hours since I originally put the outwash over my piece of glacier. And we finally have a fully formed kettle lake. So as you can see, there's a whole cavity in there um, that was just formed from that chunk of ice melting. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my groundwater And boom, we've got Kettle Lake Welty. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and have some fun making your own Kettle Lake at home. See you next time.